in here is the airbag module, which we took out in the last video. If you didn't watch that, you should be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. But this is the computer which has everything to do with the airbags. On here will be crash data and we're hoping actually this might be the reason why the car doesn't actually start. It could be. All we've done is we've taken it out, we've sent it to the airbag team and they've plugged into it like directly to the pins to tell the car that it's no longer been in an accident and it's safe to go again. I decided to open up the battery control unit to have a look in there. Infineon. Infineon. TC275. It's made by Infineon and the airbag team people, they can reset Infineon chips. The only one they couldn't reset was the Revolto one. But that's because it's self-destructive. Yeah, it just, yeah, it, it got told to self-destruct when it blows up. So we could send that to the airbag team and see what they can do. So do you think that could be acting as the power of fuse? It could be. So maybe this chip could be the answer, but it's still the unknown. We've tried absolutely everything. We can't see a physical pyro fuse. We can't plug in the diagnostic tool. The only thing it does is light the hazards up, play music, and sometimes talk to us. The answer to our questions could be inside the brain of the high voltage, ba high voltage battery. So I'm gonna send this away to the airbag team to see if they can talk to it reset any crash data and put it back in who knows we're the guinea pigs and we've got to try and find out what is going on with this car thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you in the next video